In many ways, your service never ends. Service isn't just an activity. It's a calling that stays with you. For many veterans, what can I do for my country wasn't just a call to service. It's a daily theme. When we're at work, with our family, and in the solitary moments that make up each day. America's military represents the best of who we are and what we can be. As I travel the country, I have the privilege of meeting veterans, military families, and caregivers who remind me of that every day. People who raise their hand to serve our country and who deserve a hero's welcome even though they'd never ask for it. Many veterans struggle to find work or to find their place in family and community. America deserves a Commander-in-Chief who knows what that sacrifice means and who will honor the sacred promise we make to our veterans. That's why I'm proposing a renewed promise to our service members, veterans, and their families and caregivers that enlists not just the federal government, but all of us. When I'm president, we will honor our sacred duty to our veterans. We will heal the wounds of war and ensure that our veterans receive the care that they earned. We will support those on active duty as they defend our country. We will engage all Americans, not just government, to enable our service members and veterans to thrive. It's time that we express our nation's gratitude, not only in our words, but in our actions. Thanks for your question and for your service. Together, we can fulfill our promise. Read my plan for how at peteforamerica.com slash veterans.